Now we're going to draw a women's jacket. First thing you want to do is you want to think about what shape you're going for. This season, peplum jackets are really in. So let's do a peplum jacket with lapels. All right, here we go. You want to think about what your lapel is going to do first because that anchors the entire jacket. I'm going to go with a really deep lapel. You bring it up off the shoulder like this. Because this is the shoulder line right here. And when drawing jackets, you kind of want to exaggerate the shoulders a bit. It just kind of just adds to the whole structural feel of the garment. And then, here we go, we draw our outer line of our collar, which I'm doing just like kind of a 20s style shawl situation. Jackets always have a closure in the front, so you want to think about what kind of closure you're going to do. I'm going to do buttons, so I'll do three buttons. It's always great to do things in odd numbers when you're doing design details. It just is prettier to the eye. And now I'm going to go with a pleated peplum on the jacket. I just messed up that side, but that's why we do it in pencil first. See, now I'm creating those lines, and now I'm going to take them up because they're hard knife pleats coming off of the jacket. We want to render our sleeves and when you get to the corners of your sleeves, you always want to indicate a fold there. It just shows that there's a fold in the fabric and it's just simply just a squiggle of a line. And as you're indicating your sleeves, you want to think about the fit of the sleeve. And I'm going to go with like a little bit more of a boxy fit to the sleeve. You do your little squiggles in the corners of the elbows just to show the fabric folding. And I'm gonna do this jacket with some sort of a trouser. Kind of a masculine, strong. These trousers are not the best ones, but it's all about the jacket. I'm gonna add some seam lines in here. And you also wanna think about the back what it's doing in the back. And now you want to think about what sort of cuff you're going to do. And I think this jacket would look really nice with a, very, with a simple cuff because there's a lot going on already. Don't get too nuts with the details. Three buttons at the cuff. And I'll fix those pants later. After this, you should ink in your drawing, color it, and shade it. And that's how you draw a jacket. Mm -hmm.